What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day Day, and today, Charlotte, we got one for y'all. Mm-hmm. We outside, baby. I got the epitome of E. Charlotte in the building. Let's get it. That boy here. Uh-huh. Not just any boy, though. Yeah. We got hot boy in here. Not let's just go. any hot boy. We got hot boy Shaq in the building. Yes, sir. Let's go, nigga. My dog. What it go? What's up, my dog? Ain't shit, man. We making it happen. I appreciate you for pulling up. Hey, I appreciate you having me, my boy. Of course, of course. So like I said, Charlotte, man. Listen, Queen City fuck with you heavy. Nah, for sure. They show a lot of love to you. Yeah. And on the other side, you show a lot of love to the city back. Any interview you do, anything you doing in the public light, Mm-hmm. You giving a lot of love to Charlotte. Ah, real talk, bro. What is it about this city that got your heart so much? Uh, really, it's like I feel like we the underdogs. Like mm-hmm. I feel like the Carolinas. He's not even just Charlotte, but it, 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 the whole Carolina. Like we slept on. Like it should be so much more of us in this game. Mm-hmm. Showing who the fuck we is. Showing right. what the fuck going on. Right. Because it's so much talented artists from girls to you know singers, goddamn rappers. You know every type. You just got so much talent. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm a part of that talent. Yeah. So you know, as 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 far as I go, I'm gonna make sure I step for this shit. I'm gonna rip for this shit. You know. Mm-hmm. As far as I go in this motherfucker. Always. And yeah. yeah. And, and like, cause you, cause you ain't lying as far as the underdog thing. Me being in Charlotte for a year now, this city shows a lot of love. Like I said, it show a lot of love to you. It's embrace me full exactly. force. Exactly. Like I said, you here right now. You know what I mean? Like you ain't have to do this, but that's just you. Yeah, but yeah, like me. Yeah, but like I said, you represent Charlotte to the fullest. Yeah, so yeah. that's a fact. Shit. Even so I used to live in North Carolina years ago. Yeah. And one thing that I remember and I used to fucking go crazy about was that North Carolina by Petey Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that shit. <laughs> yeah. It changed the game with that. Especially if your city was on the list that he shouted out. What? Nigga, what? They was going crazy when they spent that shit. Yeah. I swear. Nigga, what little ass boy taking the shirt off, twisting around twist it? it? Yeah, yeah, nigga, I swear to God, bro. But as far as you, one thing that I fuck with you real heavy on, Shaq, is that you are a Southern rapper, of course, ge- geographically wise, Facts. but- you really, like music wise, stay in that southern. Like you are a southern rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. which I love because me being y'all call me from up top, right? That's yeah, what y'all yeah, say here. Yeah. I'm a from a new, I'm from Maryland. So every hand there growing up, I'm like, man, I gotta hear some southern shit because it's different. Real that shit, shit is heartfelt. Though. You know what I'm saying? But I like that you always embrace that and you never strayed away from it because now today more than ever, it's always a flow that people are kind of trying to go with. Yeah, you know that they be trying to do that. You know, no, 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 no shit like niggas just like that Atlanta shit so much. You feel me? And try to goddamn Mm -hmm. hop on their wave and Mm -hmm. shit. Like, and I love Atlanta, you feel Mm -hmm. me? That's why I even was like, shit, I go down there with my sound, it'll be different. Yeah. They see me, they be like, man, who the fuck this nigga is? You feel me? Exactly. And shit, even even Michigan now, like people hopping on that Detroit, that kind of bone, bone. Yeah, it's a lot of that going on. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I be, I ain't gonna lie, I see a lot of like Charlotte artists who done did that type shit, like, like they 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 had their own sound, but mm-hmm. they'll listen to another artist and be like, man, I'm about to start spitting like this nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, bro, stay in your lane. Like, that's what's gonna make you. Exactly. You feel me? Like, stay in your lane, bro. It might work on the short run. But yeah, that's it. As far as you having a true platform foundation, that shit ain't gonna last. Yeah, that shit don't never yeah, last, bro. Yeah. And then the crazy thing is, cause like you said, I like how you said that. Even you will go to Atlanta and be like, they about to hear what I got that yeah. is different and they going to like it. Exactly. Because that's what they want. People, what they want. People think that, because everyone's going to Atlanta, right? So yeah. people will think that, okay, boom, I'm from boom, I'm from Charlotte. We don't spit like Atlanta, but I'm mm-hmm. about to go to Atlanta and spit like Atlanta and impress them. Yeah. In the back of them niggas' heads, they like, bro, I hear a you thousand s- of this every day. <laughs> you sound just like, bro. Yeah. yeah. You sound like twin. What they be saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah twin, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. sound just like them. Like we hear that shit already. Yeah. So I, I like that you said that, just kind of pointing out the fact that you really got to stay true yeah. to your art, to your form. Got to think out the box. Yeah. Someone going to fuck with it. And exactly. eventually that shit going to blow. It's going to blow no matter how long. Mm-hmm. So you talking about the Carolinas. Let me ask you, growing up, like, um, let's talk about now compared to you growing up, the Carolina music scene, like you seeing it firsthand from the outside looking in and from you the inside looking out. What was that whole evolution like? 
it wasn't it wasn't uh it wasn't too many artists who was who was really into it how it is now. Mm. Like it's we got a lot of people who wanna make music now. Yeah. When I first started it was just a couple of us and really it was like my people, me, where I'm from, from the east, it was like we it, we was the young niggas and it was the OGs of the shit. Mm. You feel me? And then like when I started doing my shit more and started noticing how big I was getting, I was like, okay, I'm starting to see more young niggas get involved. Mm. You feel me? I started seeing the young niggas wanting to rap. Yeah. I was like, shit, that shit like I love seeing that shit. I like being an inspiration of niggas and inspiring niggas and show niggas, man, we can do this shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, no matter how long it takes, cause niggas will get fucked up off of Oh man, that shit take years, man. That shit don't matter no how long it take, nigga. You can go take care of your family after all these years, yeah. nigga. Putting in that me? work. Putting in that work. Mm-hmm. And then I be wanting to just show these niggas it's another way, bro, because niggas so trapped out mm. and, and fucked up in this in this in this world we live in. Yeah. Cause it's it's the same cycle. You feel me? Same cycle every day, bro. Yeah, and that's and that's what's glamorized. That's what's that's what's getting all the attention. Oh God, that's what's getting the bitches. That's, yeah, that's what's, you know what I'm saying. That's what's getting the, Instagram. The, yeah, the, that, that's what's getting the short money. Motherfuckers trying to make their life like somebody else's life. Like like you can't do that. You gotta do, go on your path, your journey. You feel mm-hmm. me? That's what that shit about. Word. So you talking about you being an inspiration for these younger artists coming up? Yeah. You really love to see it. You. Put yourself in the shoes of the younger artists or being a young and out here in East mm-hmm. Charlotte. Who were some of the uh, artists in the area in the Carolinas that you kind of like uh, got motivated by and looked up to? In the Carolinas? Like who did I look up to? Mm-hmm. Growing up. Um, growing up. In the Carolinas? Mm-hmm. We're going to stick with just the Carolinas okay. for now. Yeah. It really was like, uh, see, when I was coming up, it was like. De Niro, like De Niro, like even though he's still doing like brush still doing this shit, but he was one of them niggas who was just damn going crazy mm-hmm. at the time. And I was really, I was doing it, but I wasn't taking my shit serious. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. So when De Niro was going crazy, bro, it was like this motherfucker got these white people loving him, bro. Mm-hmm. He taking his shirt off. They got them going crazy in the yeah. crowd with him. So I was just seeing how bro and, was moving. And, and listen, it, ain't nothing like that white bag. Yeah, niggas <laughs> be tripping, slipping on that. Or you want them white people to love you? Yeah, hey, that's different. Absolutely, you feel me? So yeah. like, I can say, I can say De Niro, like they're definitely De Niro Ferrar, because. That nigga just showed me how to how to uh like shoot videos, mm-hmm. how to market your shit, mm-hmm. how to goddamn perform. Like I sit back and study like certain artists, you feel me? Mm-hmm. When you can start there, it ain't even no copy type shit. When you can sit and just study, man, maybe I need to work on this, maybe I need to work on that. Like, mm-hmm. bro, you feel me? It's all mm-hmm. it is. And he was one of them niggas, he don't he don't care about spilling the game to you, bro. Yeah. He'll give you that bitch, he'll hand it to you. Yeah, you gotta take that in. And like you nah, said, it sure. ain't it ain't no copy and shit, man. You think Man, you think Lamar Jackson ain't ain't pick up some shit from watching Mike Vick play? <laughs> Real shit. Not necessarily. Niggas study niggas yeah, now. Yeah, it's not to say he yeah. copied them, but you got to take the, the positives from different situations and put it together like Botron. Put Bo it Tron. together on yeah. God. That's some G shit, though. Mm-hmm. That's some G shit. It might save you. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about outside the Carolinas. Who were yeah. some artists coming up that you looked up to? Uh yeah, uh I'm gonna say I'm gonna say my nigga my nigga Boosie, mm. my nigga Boosie for sure. And let me say this right quick. Yeah, you did music with all the I mean I'm not saying, Yeah, you did the outside I'm outside remix with Boosie. Mm. You worked with Boosie and all that. But even besides the fact of that, Boosie is the epitome of Southern rap. Facts. And big. that that's why I big you up as far as staying true to Southern Real rap because it reminds me of that vibe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You I never get a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 I always been boo like Boos, Boosie was like the uh you know when the niggas who ain't had no pops, you know, that was the nigga mm. we was listening to. That when we was going to school, that yeah. nigga was telling us yeah. the shit we going through. And you know what's crazy? I always tell people when I listen to an artist, that's exactly what I want to get from it. Exactly. Cause I mean, my grandparents raised me, you know, yeah. grandfather was in my life, but it's still yeah. different from an actual father figure. Yeah. You know, grandparents yeah. a little older, they not all the way in the they loop not. and whatnot. So when you don't have a father figure growing up. You get that shit from music. Yeah, yeah. So That's I be all you got. Yeah, so I be telling people maybe they just don't get it or can't relate to it. But like the reason why I like Jay Z so much. Yeah. People be trying to come for Jay Z. I'm like, this nigga is the the gospel for a hustler spirit. You can never come for hove though. Jeezy. Got Gotti. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with Gotti heavy. Gotti lay that shit down. Niggas it's, just gotta listen, man. That's if it. you listen to what these niggas be speaking about, like even when Hove just came on that new uh 
God, Cali shit. Yeah, God did. Man, <laughs> this nigga talking right. about some business shit, like yeah. real. Yeah. That nigga talking about some shit, bro, but you just got to listen, bro. It goes over a lot of heads that's one dimensional. Small minded people. Yeah, like if you ain't talking about getting some ass or fucking with a certain type of uh, 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 drug or whatnot, that's not shit. to say that that's not what sells and what is good. You can put that in music, but if that's the only thing you pay attention to, when a nigga like Gotti or Hove speak, that shit going over that your shit head. Going on, yeah. yeah. And I feel like people who think like that, that shit, you ain't trying to get far. Cause these niggas is, is really giving us the game. Laying that shit out. They laying that shit out. The mm-hmm. whole blueprint. Mm-hmm. Just on just on beats. Yeah, no pun intended, because blueprint is my favorite whole album. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the that's the classic right yeah, there. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you this. <clears throat> you being a southern rapper, true to it too. This is a question I've asked a few people, but being able to ask one. Someone from the South and two, a Southern artist. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to hearing your answer on this. Okay. And it might be a little biased on one of the answers, but regardless, I'm going to ask you. Mm-hmm. Who are you taking in a prime? I'm talking about in a prime. Who are you taking? Jeezy, Gucci, Tip, or Boosie? Mm, okay. That's tough, tough right it's there. It's tough. Damn, Gucci. Yeah. Jeezy, T.I., Boosie. Mm-hmm. And they prime who you taking. Uh, I can get two or I can just get one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do two because on the fact that you already put out that that Boosie was- Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I'll give yeah. you two. I'll, all right, so boom, let's take out Boosie. Jeezy, Gucci, or Tip? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say- uh. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Gucci, Gucci, but I fuck with Jeezy too. But Jeezy I'm gonna say Goo. Yeah, that's tough. Cause at the times Gucci was that nigga that got, de- boy, he was on that guy that real trap shit, nigga. Like we get school goddamn serving and swerving to this mm-hmm. nigga, man. Like, boy. and and then he was putting out endless shit too. <laughs> yeah, and I love how his grind was. Like mm-hmm. that nigga was one of the mixtape kings too. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that nigga Mick, man, I swear to God, I used to bump that nigga mixtape every morning, bro. Shit, one of I think we can give Gucci the mixtape king. Nah, honestly, for sure. I mean, he has so what many. What about of them Wayne? Shows. Can't oh, forget yeah, about I'm Wayne. Tripping, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, we I'm can't tripping. forget about Wayne. I'm tripping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Part of, yeah. part of my ignorance. I'm, tri- I'm tripping right there. Can't forget about Cannot Weezy. Forget Weezy about definitely Wayne. was the yeah. king, but I, I can say Gucci was the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, sure. For sure. For sure. So surprisingly, so I, I when this first came out, I put it in the group chat, of course, with my dogs. Everyone said, for the most part, niggas said Gucci. I think a few said Jeezy, a few said Tip. You cannot go wrong. Out of yeah, these yeah. four, it is literally 25% each. You can't go wrong. But personally, just because like I said, if I want to tap into some Southern shit, that's what I want to hear. Personally, in a prime, I went with Boosie. Okay. Personally, Real in a prime. Shit. And then Jeezy was second. Because Jeezy like- T.I. Je- had his time too. Yeah, I can't yeah, on Tip. Yeah, tip yeah. was going fucking yeah, bananas. Yeah, a few, few of them said Tip. Yeah. And I'm like, I ain't even mad at that. Exactly. His tip had some legendary shit. Yeah, yeah. He was on the road too. What? For, for a minute. He was talking that talk though. For a minute. Now that I think about who I hear, rubber band, man. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. He was talking that talk. Yeah, he been out for a minute with it. All right, so we both would have picked Boosie on that. Let me ask you, your favorite Boosie song? You can only pick one. Mm. My first Boosie song. I mean, my favorite Boosie song? Favorite. Just one. Um, damn, boy, I got so many. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go with one though um, that everybody know because some people might not know mm-hmm. the certain shit I was listening nah, to. Yeah, the whether time. they do or don't, it's yours. You feel me? But I'm gonna just you know I'm gonna say mine of a maniac. I swear to God, I was ready to say the same shit. Yeah, I keep a gat because niggas murder. Got a bad habit of purple. Like, yeah, in the yeah. studio, I murk you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I swear. yeah. That was the first Boosie song I learned word for word. Yeah, it was like you. He made you feel him on that shit. Like God, it was damn. different. And I ain't even on no street shit, but yeah. still, you when I was feeling, I remember when I was at when I heard that shit for the first time. I was in ninth grade in tech ed class, bro, and that's when niggas had the gummy headphones, the shit that was dumb loud, yeah. bro. I remember the first time I heard that shit. I was like, wow. But what the fuck it, wrong? With this yeah, thing? yeah. This nigga going bananas. Mm-hmm. And another, uh, another uh, Boosie song I love, but actually, Webby, my favorite Webby verse that's on a Boosie song. Yeah, smoking on purple. Oh yeah, classic. This Class. nigga Webby snapped. Let me ask you this. Look, I got a question. Let Let's me ask you this. The Let interviewer be becomes the interviewer. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it, nigga. Let's go. Who you feel like was the best? Out of Boosie or Webby? Because people ask me this all the time. That's hard. That shit hard. That shit hard. But I ain't going to lie. I love Boosie to death. But I feel like Webby was... 
Webby was pulling out that shit, bro. <sighs> Webby had them verses like if even when they had songs together, uh-huh. Webby shit always stuck out more. Yeah. It was yeah. every time Webby yeah. came on. Yeah. I swear. Damn, that's tough. It's tough. <laughs> like I said, I don't think I know a single Boosie verse better than Webby on Smoking on Purple, personally. Exactly. That's see? one of my favorite verses of all fucking Came time. Came on that smooth. God, bro. Killing shit, man. That's why he went last. He was the anchor on that joint for the reason. Uh, if mm, That's tough. I hate Webby. Webby's not where he should be. Like, yeah. I hate that shit I, for real. So what I was actually about to say is, I think Webby may have been a better spitter, but I think Boosie know how to tap into more shit oh, yeah. more strategically than Webby did. Who was the grinder. Yeah. I think yeah. Webby was kind of like, yeah, I do this shit. I'm nice at it, but shit, nigga, turn up. Like, what's up? Yeah. You know what exactly. I'm saying? I, I think Boosie was like, yo, let's tap into certain shit and- Do it the right way. Yeah. 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 Webby wasn't all in. Yeah, that's a, yeah. yeah, that's a that's a good point. But Webby could have been far too. Webby could have been hella far, bro. Even yeah. when Boosie was doing his time, exactly. Webby was supposed to be the one carrying. That's that when he was supposed to go crazy. crazy yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, Fact. yeah. Now nah, that's a good point. All right, so to bring up a current endeavor or a future endeavor, I should say, standing on business, new album, uh-huh. on the way, on the way. First off, when is it coming to us? Uh, I was supposed to drop. I was supposed to drop it August. But how I was feeling in my energy, it was telling me to push it back. Mm. You feel me? Because yeah. I felt like I'm one of them niggas, bro. I I, t- I be on my ass. I be on my not my own ass. Mm-hmm. You gotta be. Yeah, I got. I like even when I be man, Shaq, come on, drop nigga, drop. Show these niggas. But it's like, damn, bro, what I'm showing these niggas, like, I want to make sure I'm giving motherfuckers what they want and what mm-hmm. they need. I just can't be. Rushing this shit, putting out some shit, just cause I'm I'm ready for it. Right. I gotta put out the right shit. Yeah. I can't just be putting out. Oh, okay. This sound good. This nah, my shit. I want my shit to sound like a real album. Mm-hmm. I don't want my shit sounding like everybody else shit. Yeah. It's songs up. everywhere. Like nah, I want my shit sounding. Like, I don't give a fuck if that bitch come out next year. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put my heart into that motherfucker. They gonna be like, boy, I remember Shaq say. He was talking about this album and this, yeah. man, this shit was hard. Yeah, you feel me? Like I see why he took his time. Mm-hmm. So it's like I push my shit back. Like I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a BG with you. I don't got a date right now. Good. I'm Good. just working, bro. Just follow your heart work, with it. Follow on my heart, yeah. bro. Yeah. And I really feel like to keep put people, people on hold. Excuse me. I'm gonna do it like a jacket for beats, right quick. Okay. You feel me? Because I started to know on my Instagram. I say, damn, when I drop these motherfuckers uh, jacking for beats, mm-hmm. I get a lot of people attention. Yeah. You got to go with what's working. You know, yeah. dude, you, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You got to go with what's working. And for those that don't know, jacking the beats, that's, that's shout out to Gotti. That's when you, so, that's when you, you hop on a, you hop on an instrumental or two mm-hmm. that people know about, but people you just know. bring a whole, you bring your element you bring to, your it, and snap, to it and snap on and it. And go crazy. Mm-hmm. And like when I did, I did like the Glow Rilla shit. The shit yeah. she got called tomorrow, I yep. hopped on that. Mm-hmm. And I just was seeing the, the reactions I got on that shit, motherfuckers ain't even know what that song was yet. And they was mm. just like, boy, Shaq, you damn nigga. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, I know what I can do. Yeah. I'ma start feeding they ass. Yeah. I'ma start teasing them. I might drop a little five, ten, ten track EP. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Just to get them ready for standing on business. Sometimes less is more. Yeah. And then to kind of circle back how we was talking about Wayne being the mixtape uh mixtape god in a exactly. way. No ceilings. That no was ceilings. straight. That was straight yeah. jacking for beats. Drought, uh, drought one, two, three, yeah. all that shit. Yeah. And so, it was that's what really, I ain't gonna lie, I always fuck with Wayne. But when he started dropping them, mm-hmm. man, it was like you couldn't resist but to go download that motherfucker, mm-hmm. bro. Absolutely. Real shit. Yeah, for sure. All right, so back to the album. First off, the name Standing on Business. I love it. Uh-huh. What inspired that album? Um, really, bro. I wanted my own definition of standing on business. Like, you know, everybody said they standing on business and think they standing on business out here. But I want to know, niggas, you really standing on that shit? Mm. You feel me? Like, I went and got my shit LLC. Like, my my LLC, the, two, three weeks ago, that bitch say standing on business mm-hmm. on my soul. Because I was like, I'm about to put my own definition of this shit, nigga. But standing on business to me, nigga, is taking care of your motherfucking family, nigga. Taking care of these kids out here, you know, doing the right thing out this bitch. Because really, man, like, what is life? Like, life is... Nigga, stand on your shit. Do what mm. you're supposed to do or be a crash dummy and be out here fucked up looking crazy and mm. talking to your your kids through a glass. Mm. You feel me? And I ain't perfect. I ain't trying to like on, on here being perfect and shit. Niggas fuck up every day. But I want to learn from them mistakes. 
I got motherfuckers watching me. I got two little boys watching me. Mm. You feel me? And a daughter. Mm-hmm. So I don't want her. I don't want my daughter feeling like she supposed to deal with a nigga that's in and out of jail in her life. Yeah. I don't want my sons thinking, man, it's cool to go to jail. Like, hell no. They, that shit hurt their heart. Yeah. So it's like, I think, I think different than standing on business. My shit is, is taking care of these responsibilities, bro, getting far. Like, it's about who make this shit last, bro. Who lasting in this shit? I don't give a fuck how much money you got right now. It's about lasting, my nigga. Mm-hmm. That would nigga be having this shit fucked up at. Mm. We got to last, bro. We got to last. I like it. Respect. Handling priorities, first and foremost. As a man, for sure. Mm-hmm. I like it. And as far as talking about lasting, um, two things that I've always heard of great importance, especially after following an album, and you even mentioned one earlier, uh, as far as with the marketing. Yeah. Marketing and shows. Let's just give a little, you know what I'm saying, insight to artists who may be trying to come up and whatnot. Follow you and follow on your album. Let's talk about marketing and shows or touring, uh, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Starting with marketing, uh, for you personally, what goes into that and why is it so important? Um, uh, what goes into marketing and mm-hmm. why is it important? Mm-hmm. Um, basically with marketing, bro, it's like it's your brand. It's like who you is, it's like what you represent. You feel me? And and it's very important because a lot of people might can 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 feel that shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like my shit is standing on business. Other niggas might can feel like, okay, I'm standing on business too. I feel mm-hmm. what that nigga talking about. Yeah. So if I go get me a shirt or invest in shirts and 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 merch and shit like that, it's gonna make motherfuckers want to tap into my music. People who don't know me. You feel me? They might fall in love with just what I'm saying. That and standing on business, man. I don't know who that nigga is. Mm-hmm. But let me go check him out. Yeah. You feel me? So like merch, like that shit, that that marketing can get you far in life, bro. Like that's the main shit with this rap shit. Business. Yeah. Business first. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta have your business together. Then your music can come after that. You can be the hottest rapper, bro. If your business ain't together, you're gonna crash. Done for. You done for. And you see that a lot. Man, I seen so many niggas do it. And I ain't gonna lie, that's my biggest fear. I don't mm. never wanna crash on this shit. Yeah. No matter what it is, I don't want to crash, bro. So what are you doing to make sure that you don't crash? I stay out the way. Mm. I stay out the way. I got cases pending right now, but I still stay out the way. Right. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do a lot of shit I used to do. Mm. I don't go hang around certain niggas I used to hang with. Yeah. I don't go to certain blocks I used to be at. I don't, you feel me? Even if I do, I'm in and out. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I go holler at my little niggas. What up? Yeah. I love y'all. Keep pushing. Stay out the way. And I'm out. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So like- I just be thinking different, bro, because I, I know what I am, bro. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a ticket. Mm. I'm a brand. Yeah. And I gotta understand I'm a business. Literally a walking business, a, a walking, walking brand. Business. Yeah, yeah. No matter no matter what I got in my pocket or what what it is, and nigga, this this is this is shit is growing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? This shit could be a million dollar plan one day. Yeah. And that and that's what I'm walking to. That's a part of my journey. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. And that's what I'm gonna get to. That's what it is, man. Yeah, That's so. what it is. Um, just to just to get back on the marketing for a second, mm-hmm. what are some ways coming up before you was as big as you are now yeah. in the game? What were some ways coming up that you marketed yourself without all the publicity publicity publicity? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you, you know the word I'm exactly. talking about. Without all the publicity that you got right now, what were some ways that you marketed yourself coming up? Um I and, was... and what year did you like really take it serious to give them some insight? Maybe like 2013, 14. Okay. Started getting me like uh, stickers made. Mm. And this is around the time when CDs was out. Mm. So I'm goddamn, excuse me, I'm going to the uh, to the dude who do all that shit. I'm going to get my CDs printed up. I'm dropping them bitches off at DTLRs, mm-hmm. all the gas stations. Mm-hmm. I'm sticking my, my stickers up everywhere at the pump I had, I'm at. All that, like I'm just making sure motherfuckers remember who the fuck Shaq is. So you really guerrilla marketed that joint. You was in person doing that shit, oh, handing out. The- oh yeah, I was doing footwork. Yeah, I was doing footwork all yeah. around. Not even just Charlotte. I was on all around the Carolina. Mm. I was going to showcases with the same shit, posters. Yeah, posting them bitches up, posting them up at at, at uh little clothing stores and mm. shit like that. I'm posting my shit up, asking them, can I put my shit out there? Yeah, and they would let me. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Put, again, go back to putting in that work, shit yeah. that people don't see. Nah, for they sure. see where you at now. They don't see you walking. That footwork is yeah. what they said, boy. Yeah. You got to do that shit. I know that shit get hard. It mm. get frustrating. Yeah. It get aggravating. You going to fall out with your dog on the road or whatever. Yeah. But it's like, shit, nigga, this will come with this shit. Mm. If we want it, we going to go through this shit. Whatever yeah. we mad, we going to get through it. Yeah. Let's keep this motherfucking ball rolling. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, that's yeah. motivational right there. Oh, yeah, I, so besides the in-person shit, let's talk about the, the biggest blessing and burden in today's world, social media. Facts. How did you use that coming up as far as uh, your marketing side? Um... I'm gonna say with my with my uh with my track outside. This mm. is around the time Corona hit. Mm. You feel me? And my track was going crazy, but it wasn't it wasn't where it was the time after. You feel me? So yeah. I was like, damn, let me think of some shit that'll make motherfuckers guy. Then we all bored sitting in the house. Mm. I got a song called Outside right now. Mm. Boom, let me start a challenge. Mm. So I posted the beat on YouTube. You feel me? And I'm like, shit. Who got the hardest motherfucking verse? Mm. I want to see how y'all feel. We, we, we want to go outside. Let's go outside. So I posted it on there. That shit had like 13, 15K views or whatever. Yeah. And motherfuckers was doing it. Everybody who did the challenge, I post them on my page. That shit's still on my page to the day. Like, mm. if you go to my little real shit, mm-hmm. you'll go see, you can see our, our the IGT TV stories, whatever. Yeah. You can see all the artists on that shit who did the outside channel. That bitch still on there today. Still up there. Still up there, bro. Hey, that's hard. Real shit, and it was like when they was doing it, it was it was bringing attention to my page. Right. Who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah. Who is this? Where, where this song at? And they, yeah, I was gonna say, and they gonna actually want to hear the actual song. They want to hear the song, mm-hmm. bro. And I was like, it made me feel good because I seen Yo Gotti do the same shit mm. with that uh, dollar for dollar challenge. Yeah, yeah. He dropped the song, but he was like, whoever got the best verse, I'm gonna put you on my shit. Mm. He did that shit, and I was like, it just made me feel like, damn, boy, I'm thinking, I'm th-, and I did it before God, you feel right, me? Right. So that made me think like, damn, I might be thinking the right way. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. that might be some hell of a little sauce. Hey, that was a great fucking move, bro. Nah, that was a talk. great, because it's, it's so many aspects of going to it. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's pandemic, so people was inside. Yep. Everyone want to go outside. Let mm-hmm. me know how much you want to go outside. Snap on this Talk joint. your shit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. And that's, what I, that's, the, that's how I gave it to him. I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, bro. I wasn't ready for it, but I was like, oh, I got to get ready for it because that shit really took over. Yeah. That shit took over, bro. Yeah. That's hard, man. So yeah. let me ask you, in your humble opinion, do you think today that the access to social media is making it easier for artists to get put it on uh, get put on or whatnot, or could it be kind of watering it down because anybody can do it, good or bad? And I say that because it's some, you know, some, some bad shit out here. Exactly. So do you think that's more so on the good or kind of, eh, eh, side? Mean, I, I'm, I'm going to say both, kind of, mm-hmm. bro. I'm going to say both because, I mean, yeah, you'll get looked at. You'll get looked at quick and you'll get got your, your views. You can get more people's attention and all that. And then I'm going to say no because it's it's watered down. Like you say, everybody can do the same shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody doing the same shit. It's just mm-hmm. We just look like the next person in line. Yeah. You feel me? Just Here you go. He doing mm-hmm. the same shit the other buddy just came in here and did. Right. You feel me? So it's like. I feel like we just need some new shit in the game, mm. some new shit that, that'll put that attention on certain people mm-hmm. that really work for this shit, that really grind for this shit. Because there's motherfuckers out here who dedicated to this shit, and there's motherfuckers who get pulled up who ain't never put no grind into this motherfucker. Never. You feel me? And they just get the easy route, mm-hmm. and they make us look like we ain't did shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yep. Like That's how I really be looking at this shit. Like They look at us like we just... Man, nigga ain't gonna make. He ain't gonna but Nah, it's it's certain pussy ass niggas who in this shit blocking, mm-hmm. who hating on us, who don't want us in that motherfucking position with them. Yeah, fucking it up. Yeah, fucking this shit up. Mm. So it's a, it's a, it's a different. It's a, it's a dirty game, bro. Yeah. It's a dirty game. I bet. So on the other side of things, like I said, the marketing and the shows. Mm. Um, I fuck with J Cole heavy. Sure. And what song was that when he was talking about, I think he was coming that little pump and he was saying how that show money is more important than anything, you know what I'm saying, what rappers don't even know. Nah. And not only that, I was thinking, I was talking with someone about a Wiz Khalifa concert. I'm like, bro, I've been about four Wiz Khalifa shows. That nigga stays on tour, but that's how he stays getting to the bag, right? Mm-hmm. But again, not too many people, you know what I mean, even, even know about that and whatnot. So like, from you being in it, how much importance goes into that actually doing shows, kind of doing pop-ups, doing shows, touring, whatever it may be, you in person getting out there and giving the people what they want. Nah, nah, that shit mean a lot. Mm. Even when you just starting out, like, nigga, I done did a show with five, 10 motherfuckers in that crowd, and mm. I ain't give a fuck. I'm gonna rock this bitch like 2,000 in this motherfucker mm-hmm. because them five, 10 people gonna support me down that line. They gonna respect, oh, that nigga did this shit in front of us, and we just only us in here. I don't look at them niggas no different. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. So like, nigga, that shit is like, cause some niggas like get that. Oh, I'm too good for that. I can't. I ain't doing that shit, mm-hmm. man. That, man, fuck that. You ain't rich yet. 
Yeah. We ain't there yet. You see we it all the you see it all the time. The videos are when niggas first started. It'd yeah. be like you said, five to ten people. Three of them people may be someone that that's his family. So they of course gonna be there. Exactly. You, may, you got about four random ass people there and they still rocking out they though. Still rocking out, yeah. bro, but that shit don't matter because it could mm-hmm. be somebody in the cut yeah. who could be cool with Coach K. Ooh. Who could be cool with P. Yeah. Who could be cool with goddamn Rockefeller. You don't never know, bro. Yeah. It's so much shit like these motherfuckers be networking, bro. Networking is the biggest thing too in this shit. Huge. And it's all about who you know, bro. Mm. Like, I be trying to be around millionaires so I could be the next one. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, man, I'm trying to make conversation. I want to. I want them to be my friends. Because mm-hmm. the niggas you got around you now, they ain't talking about shit. Right. I done been friends with y'all for 10 years. We ain't got no business plan going on yet. You feel me? So it's like, bro, you got to go out here, shake hands. You got to go out here, show your talent. You got to show these motherfuckers who you is because they respect it more when they see it face to face. Because I done been there and I done seen motherfuckers who ain't say nothing to me when I walked in. But mm. when they see me rock that goddamn show, bro, nigga, I'll fuck with you, nigga. Mm. Bro, how much a feature? You feel me? It just mm. little shit like that can help you, bro. It can help you down that line. Yeah. That shit down. So don't be bougie with that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Work your ass off. Yeah. Ain't nothing like a supporter that's there from day one watching you grow. Bro. Oh, God. Bro, watching you grow, seeing the whole thing. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? We in Charlotte. I'm pretty sure when the baby was first starting yeah. out, he might not even had the fade yet. He probably just had the straight one all no, the way across. Didn't. You know yeah, what I'm he saying? Didn't, for sure. And but people was there from day one with yep. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I was definitely been. there. Like I seen, bro. I always seen this world. You know, me and bro got that got a track together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And bro, I always had that work ethic. Like mm-hmm. that's one thing about baby that stood out more than anybody. Like that nigga was working like a fucking maniac, mm-hmm. and that even motivated me to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I need to get right, nigga. This nigga, goddamn boy, and I was rapping longer than baby. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So when he just hopped in there and, and just the way he was moving with that shit was yeah. goddamn incredible. Going crazy, going crazy. But you, when you got a solid team around you. Mm-hmm. And you got niggas really around you, and all, and all of them know they position. Mm. Man, you gonna win. Yeah, but you can't do it alone. Can't. You can't do it by yourself. Bro. And that's huge, bro. Everyone knowing they position. Nah, for for sure. Everyone not try to be focused on that one position exactly, that gets the most, bro. you know, eyes or attention or whatever. What, what's that saying? They say too much, uh, not enough cheese, cheese too many Indians. What they say? Too many. What is it? Y'all know that joint. What that shit? It is. sound like it would be. Too many, too many, too many chiefs, chiefs, not, not enough, enough Indians. Indians. Or is it one of them shit? Yeah, man. they know like, where they, they know where we get. Yeah, y'all know where we at. Motherfuckers. But, <laughs> we need more motherfucking chiefs, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, no, we need more Indians. Indians yeah. We need yeah. more Indians who yeah. can play that position. Yeah. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Like I even said it in the song. Uh, what I say? Uh, I want to be Jordan. I want to be Jordan. These niggas got. I said something. I want to be Jordan. Them boys got a Pippen. Like mm. it ain't nothing wrong with that though. At all. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Just play your position. Cause at the end of the day, at the end of the day, excuse me, we on the same team. And we gonna all get our shine on, nigga. That's it. You feel me? Just don't play me, pussy. Respect me. We all men. Mm-hmm. Respect me like I respect you. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at that shit. Yeah. I'm a I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm gonna throw this little analogy out there. Man, I'm an I Eagles fuck fan. with you, nigga. You fuck with the Eagles? Man, I'm an Eagles fan to the knew fucking I, knew core. No, I fuck with this nigga I right I, here, I man. I thought I seen that shit. Yeah, I yeah, I was yeah, yeah. That's the Eagles joint right I there. I love the Eagles, man. Man, what we ready to turn up this shit? Oh but... yeah, yeah. They already <laughs> betting on us. They already said we about to win the Super Bowl. I don't like that though, to be honest with I'm you. I'm scared too because I feel like they putting too much on the yeah, spread right now. We we do better when we underdog. Exactly. I, I hate when they be hyping up the Eagles, yo. That's when all hell break loose. Nah, it's great. Keep sleeping on us. But one thing, coach. One thing, Coach Sergani said. Yeah. Eagles, bird. If you want to fly fast, you fly alone. If you want to fly far, you fly together. Damn, that's some real shit. I was like, that's why he my motherfucking coach. Exactly. <laughs> that's some real ass shit, though, yeah, bro. Yeah. Niggas don't think like that. You got to think like that, though, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I just kind of backtrack to what we were talking about with the shows and touring and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Following standing on business, do you plan on, you know what I'm saying, executing any shows or touring or whatnot following the album? Uh, after the album drop, mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm trying to go uh, hit all the, all the, what's it called, chilling circles and shit. Mm-hmm. Go hit all the little towns in Carolinas, go to Atlanta. I'm trying to just go promote the fuck out my shit, bro. Mm-hmm. This is this is the one I'm gonna feel like that's gonna help me get to where I need to be. Yeah. So it's like I'm gonna put my all into it. I don't give a fuck if I don't sleep. Yeah. Nigga, I'm gonna put my all into this shit, bro. So was, you said no sleep. Is that the kind of work that goes behind touring? Because when people look at touring, they only see 
the performing on shows or the, you know what I'm saying, fucking with people outside of it, you know what I'm saying, getting all the bitches and whatnot. But as far as the work going in the touring, yeah. it would be like that where it's restless. And oh, yeah, it's restless as fuck. What kind of work goes behind that? It's like, it's straight work because at the end of the day, you really, every day is work, bro. Mm. Every day I wake up, bro, I do this shit like a job. Like, I might got to write down a plan. I really need to go get me a little assistant. Mm-hmm. So I can goddamn have my shit already, you know, in yeah. order and shit. But with that shit, like, you gotta have shit planned out. You gotta have shit ready. You gotta make sure when you when you about to go perform, everything sounding right. Your shit together, nigga. Uh, you gotta make you get just a lot of shit, bro. I ain't yeah. gonna I ain't gonna sit and speak on everything. Yeah. yeah. But it's definitely a lot of hard work, bro. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's, it's it's not easy, bro. Word. It's it's a lot of sacrifices. Mm. You ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't seeing your people. You ain't mm. seeing your family too much because you always on that road. Yeah. And you want to goddamn get to where you going so they can forever straight. Yeah. Like it's time some certain niggas I done seen certain artists say. They didn't miss their kids' birthday parties for this shit. Mm. For them to have better birthday yeah. parties, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like shit, bro. Whatever it take, bro. And I feel like if you can't understand that, we ain't, we ain't on the same page. Mm. Straight up. Dedication, straight up. Dedication with this shit. Mm-hmm. Well, shit. We can talk about the luxury side of it Let's and whatnot. It. Seeing the different cities, seeing the different biddies, all that. Nah, for sure. Let me ask you. You being from Charlotte, you going to these different cities? You seeing the different women in these different joints. First of all, I, I know they be. I know it be crazy. You matter of fact, yeah. you was on tour with Tusi, right? If, yeah, I'm, yeah, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, yeah, I hopped on there. I hopped on a couple of days. Boy, I know the biddies was going oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, that shit one. was that shit was ridiculous, Ooh. man. You know Tusi, well, they love that nigga. Yeah, they love that nigga, but they were yeah, they from hoes out there. So you been from Charlotte? Yeah. You seeing the Charlotte women? You going to the different cities? What kind of uh, difference is there between the Charlotte women and joints from other cities? Because me personally, yeah. I love hey these Char- the Carolinas. Because <laughs> we right next to South Carolina. Exactly. I, done, I done came across a few from Columbia and all mm-hmm. that. Fort Mill, Greensboro, bold, Raleigh. Yeah. Hey, listen. But yo, they easy to talk to out here. I'm talking about you can just make them laugh and yeah. boom, come here. I got I, you. <laughs> I the, the more north you go, you know, it's a little, you know, yeah. the, the little, the bougie gets a little increases oh, yeah, as yeah, you go yeah. up, Especially north. up north. Especially yeah. up north. Especially up north. Yeah. Them Puerto Rican ones too. Yeah, yo. And you know what's crazy? Because New York and Jersey got the Puerto Rican joints. Yeah. Be being from Maryland, the DMV as they call it, but I just say Maryland, but I be like, man, y'all got them. Y'all got the... They be like, shit, y'all got them yeah. in the DMV <laughs> shit, right? Hey, I'll you say, know what Redding is? Redding, PA? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm really from. For real. I was raised in Charlotte though. Yeah. You was born in Redding? I was born in Redding, PA. What? I swear to God. PA got some yeah. sleepers. Hey. PA got some sleepers, boy. And my family boy. be mad at me. They be like, Shaq, why you ain't, why you don't come up here? I really just be telling them, no. I be like, man, that shit depressing, man. I don't mm. want, I want to see motivation shit yeah. when I wake up. Yeah. But I love my family to death. For sure. So it just ain't, but it just ain't the same feeling. Yeah. I want to go somewhere. I'd rather them, let's have a family reunion and we got them go see some nice shit. Yeah. Like, I'd rather some here. shit like that. Yeah. And it's crazy because spots with like not a lot as far as physically to meet the eyes, shit in the city or town to yeah. offer. It's like the the spots without a whole lot to offer, them joints be, yeah, they nah, be, nah, for sure. PA, Midwest, I love Midwest. For sure. Women. And the food be good. Food be on point. <laughs> you can't forget about the food. Yeah, bro. Smack it. I've been listening. Some joints out here been cooking, bro. I love it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to just say, I know this might string a few feathers with the women. Uh, not, a, uh, it's not a lot of them cooking nowadays, oh, yeah. as, nah, nah, at man. least not where I'm from. Nah, that's real talk. I came out here, man. They, you know, I'm, I'm making something. You want me to drop off a plate? I'm like, for real? That's what you do. What you what you making? <laughs> oh, I'm making some seafood pasta, making yeah. some ribs, some they, crab legs. I'm they making... tell you some, some luxury yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> you be like, it's like, that. that's some shit my grandmother make like exactly. once every month. I can get that every week. That's one thing about out here. These yeah. girls, they going to feed you. It's mm-hmm. Half of them. Not all of yeah, them. Yeah, half yeah, of yeah, them. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of bitches is fucked up off that social media shit, uh-huh. man. We losing recipes. All yeah. right, so you... <laughs> So you being in other cities, like what comparisons yeah. can you make as far as your hometown, the Charlotte women, and, and different joints you've been at? Um, What's been your favorite city, I should say, and what's why? My favorite city. Oh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna say Atlanta again, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Atlanta. Man. I gotta visit that. Hey, yeah, it's yeah, just all different. Yeah, man. it's like. See, we close too early in Charlotte. That's one thing I hate. I just said that. Can't shit. drink liquor past two. Mm-hmm. Close club at stop at two. Mm-hmm. Even when you go to after house spot, you can't even go get drunk. Mm. You feel unless you got your own shit. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. 
Damn. So yeah. if we pull up, what is it, 15 at 3 o'clock, we can't get them it's a drink? It's over. They ain't, give, they ain't selling you no drinks, bro. That is wild. You gonna get you a good plate of food. Yeah. But, but no drink. No drinks, bro. Damn. That'd that's be the wild. wag shit, man. Yeah. But you go to that Atlanta life, man. I'm mm-hmm. talking about, I went on a motherfucking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, bro. I felt like I was out there all weekend. Like it was a mm-hmm. weekend for me, bro. I swear to God. And it's like all the spots I go to. Bad bitches walking through this motherfucker like it's the weekend. I'm like, man, these bitches is dressed on Monday like this. Like it's nothing. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, I love this shit, bro. Ooh. I love this shit. So it's like, even when I go to the A, I be like, bro, I got to have me about three, four outfits before I pop out. Yeah. I can't look like I saw it, nigga. I've gotta, I got to look right. These motherfucking tight, these grown bitches out here. Shit. Got to get right for I the gotta A. Got to get right for the A. Fresh cut, all that. Mm. We coming to the A soon. Yo, I'm with y'all. Where we going? I'm riding with y'all. Yeah, we going to link that up. So we going to make that happen. Mm-hmm. I got some people out there we can go link with too. Me too. Yeah. But it's a business and luxury yeah, trip. Exactly. We going to make that bitch happen. I swear. All right, so let me ask you. Mm. I want you to give me, along with the folks tuning in, you've been to the A, you've been different cities, you've yeah. been Texas, you've been all over the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us your craziest tour story. Uh, I'm going to say this. This, this, this not... I was gonna give a female one, but I ain't gonna get it because I ain't really. Them shit's just regular shit. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck I always live it. That shit. Yeah, yeah. But one time my last management uh, I was with, man, I had to fuck, fuck one of my managers, man. Throwing hands. Throwing hands in the wow. snow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we having so much fun. We in New York, right? Uh-huh. We in New York kicking shit. We meet some bitches after the club. They got a little crib. Man, we done went in the crib with these bitches. Why they, why they motherfucking mama and them stay downstairs? Mm. So they get up like three, four in the morning. Y'all got to get the fuck up out of here. We like, oh, what? you live with your mom? What? We ain't even know this shit. Yeah. So then little badass kids start running around. I'm like, yo, this shit like a movie. What the fuck going on? Definitely so we had movie. to hurry up and get up out of there. Like, run up, like we really had to run up out of there. But that shit was funny as hell. And the bitches was like that damn like y'all can, y'all can come back. Nah, bitch, nah, we ain't coming back. Nah, you got mom, dude, that badass baby it's kids over, running around nah. at four, five in the morning. We gone. I'm trying to get sucked up. Y'all playing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't shit go on with these kids around this bitch. But hey, now, nah, bro, and then me and my manager, I don't know what the fuck it was. I thought he was mad. He was aggravated with me or so because we was guy there taking too long. And he was sitting in the car. Mm. So shit, he was mad, but we out there fighting in the snow. What? I was talking about throwing them shit to the snow, getting it in. Well, it was all hey, it's, after. it's hard to fight in the snow too. The, what? the snow in the I sand. I slid and bust my ass, man. <laughs> I was mad as fuck. Lost the earring and all, and that bitch fighting. <laughs> but it was a hell of a memory. Like you yeah. know how you fight with your brother, man. Yeah. Shit like that. Y'all nigga. cool after? Yeah, yeah, cool yeah. After. We yeah, yeah, right yeah. after that shit. Yeah. But nigga, I ain't no bitch. You feel me? Right. Talk, nigga, I ain't no bitch. Nigga, don't 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 talk to me like that. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> you feel me? Shit like that. What part of New York was this? You remember? Uh, I think I was in Brooklyn. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I was in Brooklyn. That bro. sound like a Brooklyn story. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that sound like you was in the Bronx or Brooklyn for sure. I was in Brooklyn for sure. Hey, that's that some shit. shit. I fuck with New York though. I got I gotta go back. I ain't been in a long time, but I got fuck Me with New either. York. Yeah, ain't no city like it. Yeah, I ain't yeah. been out there in a minute neither. And I went when it was cold, boy. That shit shh, that cold different. Different. Oh my God. Different. I had to buy a trench coat down on my fucking leg. I was I was ready to say you cannot go to New York <laughs> without a New York jacket. You're nah, you done. can't. You're you done. can't go out there with a hoodie or something. Thank fuck you straight. Man. Yo ass gonna go out there, go out there, buy the biggest coat for three two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Say fuck it. Yep, because what it is is that New York wind. Because you're right next to the Hudson, so that New York wind, and then you got a whole bunch of subways going by and shit, bro. That shit will creep underneath bro, your shit, shit hurt. and fuck your body up. That shit hurt. That's Why shit. everything so expensive down that bitch? Like cigarettes and shit. I don't smoke yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, but I, them shits high, yeah, bro. Yeah, like twelve dollars. Yeah, I mean it's just New York. That's it's so crazy. it's so it's so many people, but then it's crazy because like the minimum wage out there is high. Like in in the Carolinas, yeah, it's like what seven fifty minimum wage. No, yeah. I think it went up. It went up. I think it went up to like, but it, it's still on the ten, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it ain't go past that now for sure. When I heard that, I was like, Are you serious? Because in Maryland alone, it's between ten and thirteen, somewhere Damn. somewhere around there. But just the more north you go, that shit and west, you know, Cali, yeah. Cali expensive as shit too. I love Cali too. Yeah, Shout out to Cali. yeah. yeah. But that I went shit out crazy. there for the first time. That shit fucked my head. I ain't gonna lie. That it's energy there, it's a way vibe. Different. Big good vibe, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't want to leave. I felt like I was in San Andreas. Mm. <laughs> I swear. What part was you in? <laughs> I was at, um, fuck that bitch called. Damn. 
San, San Fran. That's uh, what I was in. You was in San Fran? I was in San Fran. Niggas were just talking about it and they yeah, go to the San bay. San Fran feel different, bro. I, yeah. And I went to the bridge, like, you know, just to clear my mind. Golden, my Golden, Gate, Golden Gate Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Man, that shit was so dope, bro. Oh, man. I love seeing, like, like motivational shit, bro. Like, I was out there just like, damn, boy. I got to get rich. Mm-hmm. That's all I kept thinking while I'm yeah. out there. I said, boy, I got to get rich, yeah. boy. It gives you a whole new perspective. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Just seeing how people live out there, like, motherfuckers riding bikes all day, happy, and you got there yeah. wearing hoodies and the shorts with it. Like, mm-hmm. that type of shit I like. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. said, that's the life, goddamn. Yeah. That's what they're yeah, very inspirational. That's what niggas trying to get to. Nah, real talk. So listen, before we get out of here, let me ask you. Mm. You've been grinding since 2013. Yeah. Here we are nine years later. You're still going at it. You're making noise. You're making moves. You're getting to it. For sure. And these past nine years, what's been one of your biggest takeaways from being in the game at this point? I'm going to say having the right people around you, bro. Like, you got you to gotta have the right motherfuckers around you, bro, because a lot of motherfuckers really just be around for the wrong reasons. Mm. And that shit will hurt you in the end. Yeah. You feel me? Because I might have my little partner from the hood with me. Somewhere he ain't even supposed to be with me yet, cause you can might be in the back stealing some shit that's gonna fuck me up, mm-hmm. fuck my face up or something. You feel me? Yeah. It just be little shit like that. So it's like I used to start thinking like, all right, shit, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta separate the street shit and you gotta separate your rap shit, bro, cause this is business, bro. No matter which, where you at in life with this shit, remember this shit is your business, bro. This is your brand. So you want motherfuckers, even if. Your homeboy do something, nigga. That shit fall back on you. Mm-hmm. That's on my face. Mm. I didn't. I didn't been in studios when one of my partners did some hoe ass shit, mm. and in this studio, nigga be mad at me like, man, shit, bro, what you got damn got going? Bring these niggas up here. Yeah. And I'm like, all I could do is apologize. Yeah. You feel me? Because I know what type of partner my niggas is. Like, yeah. I know around them times, I know what type of niggas you would have you would have did would have did that. Yeah. I know what you was known for back then. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. I'm going to holler at you later about that, but I'm going to speak to him like, a, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, I learned to to separate that shit, bro, and just be like, man, Shaq, put your all into this shit and get the right people around you and God going to bless you. Mm. You feel me? Because cause some niggas be mad, you know, feeling like, man, Shaq should have been blown, man, Shaq, this, Shaq. But like I said, bro, I had to learn certain shit. I might have been keeping myself back. Yeah. I'm certain shit having the wrong motherfuckers around me and, and not really there for me for real. Mm-hmm. Cause motherfuckers just be around and use your use your name with so much shit. And that be my problem. Like I was I was I was showing love to motherfuckers who I thought really fucked with me. Mm. And they really did. You feel me? They were just using me for what who I am and what I got going on around me. Like yeah. Rock, when you see me, bro, what? Nigga, I can't ever since y'all didn't see me twice, bro. When I come by myself. Dolo. I been dolo, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, I don't fuck with these. I got a select few, bro. Mm-hmm. And my niggas who I really be, they out doing hell in their business right now. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't need a hundred niggas with me. Yeah. I come with solo dolo by myself and stand on my shit. Less is more, nigga. It's plenty of us. On God. Mm-hmm. On God. But it's like, hey, this shit teach you. Like, you going to learn. You going to learn this shit. And it's either going to make you or break you, bro. Mm. And that's one thing I learned with this shit. He's gonna make me or break me, my nigga. And I damn sure ain't gonna let it break me. Fuck no. Fuck no. I love that answer, man. Um, I've asked that and I've asked that question twice mm-hmm. to you and Lex. Shout out to Lex Luger. Oh, for sure. Legendary out. producer. And he gave the exact same answer. Really? Having the right people around. Nah, that's real talk, bro. Hell yeah. That shit's scary too. Mm. Nigga kill your ass. Just mm. to say he got them. Just to say he did it. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Mm. What well, that nigga Boosie say? He say for a big, uh, for a big name and a big fame, nigga will murder you. Mm-hmm. That's real oh, shit. Oh yeah, nigga would love to say that shit. Sad case, very sad mentality, but it's it's a lot of it out here. It's life, yeah. Yeah, you gotta yeah. walk through. Gotta yeah. goddamn learn. It's move right. Mm-hmm. I swear. Listen, man, you got plenty coming out. Like we said, standing on business. I'm looking forward. To, the world is looking forward to that. Appreciate Straight that, up. My dog, for so. Sure. Where can people go to find where you at now, music, social media, all that? How can they find you? How can they tap into Hot Boy Shack today? Uh, Instagram, Hot Boy Shack underscore. Uh, YouTube, Hot Boy Shack. Twitter be tripping on me. They don't let me change my name. So it's Hot Boy, Lil, it's Hot Boy underscore Lil Shack on Twitter. Mm. And really, uh, when you hit my YouTube channel, bro, go subscribe my shit. Like, that's the biggest thing. It's ours. Mm-hmm. You know, people don't tell them niggas that, but definitely subscribe them channels. Like, mm-hmm. that shit help with us. 
That shit help a lot. That's what it's, hey, that's yeah. what that bread. I be that's telling people. Like, yeah. yeah, like yeah. so. If you want to support, don't just watch. Subscribe my shit too. Yeah. So you know when that new shit come out. Every time, every time I drop something new, you gonna get a notification. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so straight up, and that's why I be telling y'all subscribe to day by day so that you be notified Please, whenever yeah. a new episode drops. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to Hot Boy Shack mm-hmm. on YouTube as well. Everyone tuning in, whether it's on YouTube or you're listening to your podcast platform, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening to your podcast, Day by Day is there. I truly thank y'all for tuning in. And again, make sure that you subscribe. And I got to give a big thank you to the Queen City's own Hot Boy Shack for stopping through the stew, man. Dog, I appreciate you, bro. It's a dope interview. Absolutely. Dope. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Sure. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Peace. Perfect.